the journey, but we have finally made the flight. Um, we're headed to Cartagena. It is 10 in the morning and we're in good spirits, but better than yesterday. Better than yesterday. So I didn't vlog yesterday because it was a hot mess and we're all over the place and we missed our flight. Um, but we're going to Cartagena today, so I'll bring you all along with us. Hundred one million. One million one hundred. You said seven. Tell them when they were passed. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold all right, y'all. So we are about to go to the hotel. Got just calling the shuttle. Um, it is a different kind of heat out here. Like these masks are literally stifling. Like it's hot as hate. Like <laughs> for real. Yeah. Like and it's like it's. I don't know if y'all been to Georgia. Like the heat is like it's humid. This is like humid times like a thousand. It's just so humid. That's why my hair is looking crazy. But. We're gonna go freshen up, um, get cute. We have a boat ride tonight, and then probably grab some food um, and just settle in the hotel and then enjoy the festivities. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. You know what I'm saying? I had my people put that in here. Um, you know what I'm saying? So if you got like expensive weeds, bring your shower cap. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gonna be trouble, you know what I'm saying? This is a closet. You know what I'm saying? Come on in, man. You know what I'm saying? We got this. So this look like regular carpet, but it's really alpaca. Um, okay. Frank Lucas sent me that. Gotcha. Okay. Um, this how you mount a TV. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they got the cords and stuff in, uh, showing. They got to come back and finish that. But uh, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you all my view. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is how we living, man. So if you look right down there to the left, that whole little from there to like, just like straight though, all the way out to where you can't see no more, I bought all that. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, it's the crib, man, you know. <laughs> Thank you for um, hosting our MT Cribs edition. Yeah, man, you know. We appreciate it. It's the crib, man. We'll see you on the next vacation. One of many cribs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're in a taxi um, headed to the boat ride. It's near the wall. Everybody calls it here. It's like the shopping area where they have food and all that kind of stuff. Um, we just left the beach right across from our hotel. Like you can literally walk out to the beach and they have all these little shops and stuff where you can get food. Um, and there's like a lot of people that come up to you they try to like offer you stuff to buy. It becomes a little bit a lot, you know, like it's kind of annoying sometimes when you're trying to eat and like, sorry, I don't know what's happening around this, but it's kind of annoying when you're trying to eat and like every five seconds someone's coming up to you because they can tell that you're American and I don't know, it was just a lot. Um, so that was kind of annoying, but hopefully the boat ride's fun and we're gonna have a good time.
All right, guys, so the boat tour is over. It was pretty fun. Um, I didn't say that like it was fun, but it was cool. Um, we are headed to the club or somewhere with some random man. I really don't know. Josh says it's fine, so I don't know. Um, but we're going to like the wall that everybody talks about. So hopefully that's fun. Um, yeah, I'll bring y'all along. We'll see. <laughs> It's like this volcano that you like jump in and there's like a bunch of mud in it and there's also like a pink sea that we're gonna do um so that should be fun um we don't have anything with us they're gonna feed us later so yeah we're about to go and do that The young lioness still dives, it's on the prowl, on the Serengeti. volcano first and we did the pink sea which the sea wasn't really pink um just because it only happened during certain times of the year but it was fine like it had like a pink tint to it so you could tell that like it's pink um and then it had like the salty crystals and we put like it put the water on you it made your skin kind of oily but like by the time i got in the car or back on the van um and burned for a little while it was super salty like my skin was just like Gritty. Um, so yeah. Then we were really hungry. The ride back was really rough, really bumpy. Um, I don't know if that's like a reflection of the roads here or if it's a reflection of the car we were in, but yeah, it was really rough. Um, so we slept on the way back and now we're starving. So we're gonna eat here. We our options were fish or chicken. And then they brought us a soup. The soups here are, are actually really good. Um, they kind of taste like when you go to the Japanese restaurants, like those kind of soups. What's it called? Miso. Miso soups. They kind of taste like that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna eat here on the beach. Uh, yeah, we're gonna eat here and head back to the hotel and figure out what we're gonna do for the night. That's about it. All right, y'all, so we are about to go out, probably to the wall, um, see a few things. We haven't actually been there and like looked around. Like last night we went there, but we went to um, a club, got super wasted, or at least I did. But um, we're gonna go actually like explore there today and kind of see what's there, see the culture. Um, there was this really cool area where they had like all these paintings and stuff. So I kind of wanted to go there and like take some photos all that good stuff. I don't know what it's called, but I'll like 
tag it when I get to that part of the video. And um, yeah, we're gonna head there now. The dog don't want to be bothered. Clearly. <laughs> like, he's like, you're making me so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Yo. Was dreaming of coming here since I was seven, falling like a bitch. I think I might have spent eleven hundred thousand dollars while we've been out here. Showing to my reverend, paid my tithes and offered me before I left. If a nigga try me, he gon' die. Don't play with no death. Oh, freestyling. Oh, nah. Good morning guys. So um, we are headed down to get breakfast. Um, we don't really have anything planned today to be honest. We're gonna go to the pool after we grab some breakfast. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. There was this wall of art and stuff that I mentioned yesterday. We're probably actually gonna go to that today because yesterday we just went to um, the wall area. And it was just a lot like, I get annoyed really easily with like, people like constantly like stopping me like that just annoys me a little bit but i think it's kind of the culture here like it's covid time so people are really i'm about to miss the elevator again i missed it yesterday um people are really like they need the money so like you can tell they're like desperate like when they're like hey help me help my family like you see ladies like with their kids it's a whole lot going on so that just is kind of like overwhelming for me personally sometimes and I just like annoys me puts me in a bad vibe <laughs> but um yeah so we're gonna try to avoid that today are we going back to the wall maybe tonight um to go like to a club or something and then that's about it it's gonna be a low-key day So we in um, Cartagena, of course. Uh, we're in, can't remember what the area is called, but it's like a lot of the locals live here. They got hotels and restaurants here, but it's not like, it's not like um, as touristy as the other spots. So, you know, we just vibing. I'm having a aguila. So, you know. He's had several. No, he's actually had several Remy's. <laughs> Hi guys, so we went to the casino and someone got a little litty today and now he's sleeping. So what have we learned? Nothing, because we do this every vacation. Every single vacation. <laughs> and you get wasted. <laughs> and we go do the same thing all over again. Right. So we're trying to eat something. Hopefully he sobers up. Um, and then tonight we're going to, back to the wall. We're going to Delirium. 
Um, hold on, I'll let y'all look at the food we just got here. All right, so I got some fish, red snapper, and then what'd you get? Ribs. Ribs. Like the Georgia man, or no, you're Mississippian that he is. <laughs> y'all me and Bayer stepping out he had to go back to the room and get my cash um because we i recommend only bringing like a little bit every time you come um especially if you're coming back to the room throughout the day just so if anything happens you aren't like losing all your money um we're going out this is our last night here super excited um we're going to delirium i think i've already mentioned that but um they're like the more American club. They have, they play like more American, like rap music, that kind of stuff. So I definitely recommend them if you want more of an American vibe, like party wise. Um, there's nothing wrong with the other clubs. It's just like, you don't really know what they're saying. And you know, like it's the same, like it's all the same kind of like Latin music um, or Spanish kind of like hip hop music. So um, yeah, we just want to kind of an American, um vibe and party and when i tell you like it is like super deep in there like we went there late last night but we didn't know that they closed at 8 30 so there is a curfew here it's 10 but that particular club closes at 8 30 because i mean they have to make people go home there are actually like prostitutes that are all like in the club like it's like they're deep like <laughs> you'll see them um, so that was kind of like a shock because I was like, wait, there are those prostitutes? And Josh was like, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was something different. <laughs> you don't really see, I could, at least in Atlanta, or maybe, I don't know, maybe that was happening in Atlanta. And I'm just not aware of it. But, um, yeah, I'll bring y'all along with me. I'm probably going to get some food because the food that we ate earlier, my fish was like overcooked. And I couldn't really explain to them what I was saying um, that it was overcooked. So I just like didn't eat it um so i'm gonna get some food while i'm there and then yeah we're gonna go and have a great time turn up <laughs> but they're kicking us out here the police come it's a whole hot mess so we're getting a taxi um they offered like after parties and stuff but we're just gonna go home because we don't really know how it works out here so yeah we're just gonna go home so. 